The Bolsa Chica Conservancy's annual gala fundraiser was aptly named Barefoot Ball and was presented right on the sand where most were most comfortable, especially in front of the backdrop known for surf, sunsets, and dreams. This day, with a lot of wetlands added in for branding. The event sponsors, including title sponsor Disneyland Resort, welcomed this year's Conservator of the Year Award, artist and marine conservationist, Wyland. Of the Year, really cool award right here in Huntington Beach. I'm really stoked to uh, be part of this, all the uh, ocean lovers in one place. It's all good. And I'm going to paint tonight and we're going to auction these off to uh, support the cause. So anyway, I'm warming up over here. I just did a bottlenose dolphin. Mother and baby, these are the dolphins that we see right out there. So very local. And then uh, all you got to do now is sign it. So WY land. And three dots, air, land, and sea. It was a coming home of sorts for Wyland, who got his start as the muralist for the famed Golden Bear in Huntington Beach. I was at the Golden Bear watching B.B. King, and I was in the front row, and I always look at walls. I get excited by blank canvases, and I saw the side wall was really ugly. It was just a brick wall. So I started sketching it on my sketchbook, and Rick, the owner of the Golden Bear, said, what is that? I go, well, that's your, that's your building. He goes, I know. He goes, can you do that? I go, tomorrow. You know, here I am, I'm a starving, unemployed artist. So he goes, well, how much? I go, 300 bucks, believe it or not. And this is back in like 78. I says, but you got to feed me. I get to go to every concert I want to and uh, free food. You know, that's the key word for artists. And uh, oh, he was excited. And it, it took me about, uh, I don't know, six days to paint the mural. But I'll tell you what, it, it was a landmark here in Huntington for a long time. And a lot of people were, you know, sad when it left. But I love what they did. And I love that they're going to keep the message of uh, the Golden Bear and, and all the music that inspired, you know, me and, you know, multitudes of people. And but it would be a working honor at the Barefoot Ball as Wyland, now with more than 100 marine life murals around the world, galleries and special projects, created live paintings on the spot and auctioned off as fast as the artist could complete. Okay, so I'm seeing you right here. Do you want this one? If we if we really want to protect, you know, our our particular backyard, we need to think about protecting the entire biosphere, the entire water planet. And it's it's funny because a lot of times scientists will focus on this, this particular uh, you know habitat or that one, and then artists see we don't have to follow rules. They, you know, artists, you know, we break rules. That's kind of our job. That's what Disney did. So uh, our, our, our feeling is that if we have a chance now uh, to inspire a generation about how water is the essence of all life on, on the planet, the most important you know, thing, then, then we need to really take care of the water. And that's what we've been bringing that message for 30 years. And it's so exciting to see people taking care of the, these beautiful places. And you guys do it better than anybody else. Great honor. Great, I saw it firsthand. With the continued BCC goal, the building of the Center for Coastal Ecology still in its future, the many silent auction items known at BCC events, and live auctions with the crowd favorite dog auction brought forth a renewed financial effort that Wyland's rare public appearance gave inspiring those you know that true say, stewards yeah, of our oceans carry I'm toward second, a future. A future points. only a magical place like the Center for Coastal Ecology can bring. The Barefoot Ball kept the Balsa Chica Conservancy on the path. For Surf City Highlights, this is Matt Lifford. One of the most intelligent animals on, on Earth right here.